Seventh grade, unit two, lesson six, using equations to solve problems. Number one, a car is traveling down a highway at a constant speed, described by the equation d equals 65t, where d represents the distance in miles that the car travels at this speed in t hours. A, what does the 65 tell us in this situation? D equals 65T. The car is traveling at a constant speed of 65 miles per hour. B. How many miles does the car travel in 1 and 5 tenths hours, or 1 and a half hours? In one hour, the car travels 65 miles, so a half hour would be half of 65 miles. A half hour would equal 32 and 5 tenths miles. In one and a half hours, the car would travel 65 miles plus 32 and 5 tenths miles. The car would travel 97 and 5 tenths miles in one and a half hours. C. How long does it take the car to travel 26 miles at this speed? 65 miles in one hour, and to get from 65 to 1, we need to divide 65 by 65. Since we divided the miles by 65, we have to divide the hours by 65. 1 65th of an hour, or 1 over 65. To turn the 1 mile into 26 miles, we need to multiply the 1 times 26. And since we've multiplied 1 mile times 26, we need to multiply 1 65th of an hour times 26. And 1 65th of an hour times 26 is the same as 1 divided by 65 times 26, which is 4 tenths. It would take a car traveling at this speed 4 tenths of an hour to travel 26 miles. 4 tenths is equivalent to 2 fifths or 24 minutes. Number two, Elena has some bottles of water that each holds 17 fluid ounces. A, write an equation that relates the number of bottles of water, B, to the total volume of water, W, in fluid ounces. W equals 17B. Another equation could be B equals 1 17th W. B. How much water is in 51 bottles? 17 multiplied by 51 equals 867. There is 867 fluid ounces in 51 bottles of water. C. How many bottles does it take to hold 51 fluid ounces of water? 51 divided by 17 equals 3. It takes 3 bottles to hold 51 fluid ounces of water. Number 3. There are about 1 and 61 hundredths kilometers in 1 mile. Let x represent a distance measured in kilometers and y represent the same distance measured in miles. Write two equations that relate a distance measured in kilometers and the same distance measured in miles. On the left column, we have kilometers, or x, at 1 and 61 hundredth. On the right hand column, we have miles, or y, at 1 x equals 1 and 61 hundredths y, and the other equation would be y equals 1 over 1 and 61 hundredths x. Number 4. In Canadian coins, 16 quarters is equal in value to two toonies. A. Fill in the table. Well, the table tells us that 16 quarters equals two toonies. To turn the 16 into a 1, we need to divide the 16 by 16 to make 1. Since we divided 16 by 16, we also need to divide 2 by 16. And 2 divided by 16 equals 2 sixteenths, which is equivalent to 1 eighth. 1 eighth is also 125 thousandths. 
or 0 0.125. 1 times 20 equals 20, and 1 eighth or 125 thousandths times 20 equals 2 and 5 tenths or 2.5. Next, we need to fill in this last empty space. 1 times 24 equals 24, and 1 eighth or 125 thousandths times 24 equals 3. B. What does the value next to 1 mean in this situation? 1 eighth means that 1 eighth of a toonie is equal to 1 quarter. Number five, each table represents a proportional relationship. For each table, A, fill in the missing parts of the table. If 2x equals 10y, then 1x would equal 5y, since 1 is half a 2 and 5 is half a 10. 1x times 7 equals 7x, and 5y times 7 equals 35y. 1 times 3 equals 3, or 1x times 3 equals 3x, and 5 times 3 equals 15, or 5y times 3 equals 15y. 12 divided by 12 equals 1. 3b divided by 12 would equal 3 over 12, or 3 divided by 12. 3 over 12 is the same as 1 fourth. 40 equals 10 or 40a equals 10b. Since 20 is half of 40 and 5 is half of 10, 20a would equal 5b. On the right hand table, 5m equals 3n. Since 10 is twice the value of 5, we need to figure out what's twice the value of 3, and twice the value of 3 is 6. 5 times 6 is 30, and 3 times 6 is 18 and 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 3 divided by 5 is 3 fifths. B. Draw a circle around the constant of proportionality. On the first table, the constant of proportionality is 5. On the second table, the constant of proportionality is 1 fourth. And on the third table, the constant of proportionality is 3 fifths. Number six, describe some things you could notice in two polygons that would help you decide that they were not scaled copies. They would not be scaled copies if they were different shapes. Example, one was a rectangle and one was a triangle. They would not be scaled copies if they had different angle measures. 